Hey guys, I got all my trucks here at home. First time in a long time. Got left turn bill back from Gas Axe Chop Shop and uh, of course a uh, 78 C10 truck, Billy James. Got my 78 GMC truck, Shannon. Got my 88 OBS truck. First time I've ever had an OBS truck. Hope you can hear me for the wind. Got a storm coming. OBS truck Sam and of course I got my 75 C10 truck in the front there the light blue and white that's the reason we named it Sky or y'all did y'all did I had a contest and the name Sky won out 75 C10 truck Sky okay I'm, I thought just for kicks I have people ask me why don't you get them all out and do a video and I do that kind of like once a year uh, just because Sometimes, you know, during during the year, a year, a lot can happen in a year. And uh, I just try to do a video of what I have at the moment. And, you know, sometimes things, sometimes tr uh, trucks go to new homes. I hate, to, I hate to sell any of them, but sometimes they do go to new homes. I can't buy any more unless I sell some. So let's start with this one here. This is a 75 C10 truck, goes by the name of Sky. I've had the engine detailed by my friend uh, Dale. Dale, if you're watching, thanks. I, I, you're truly gifted because I, I just I just don't have the patience for it. Uh, I'm kind of like a, I think I'm the third owner of this. Uh, this, this truck's always been in East Tennessee. Well, I'll just walk around as I'm talking, okay? Always been in East Tennessee. Let's start it. Well, let me find the key first. That would help, wouldn't it? Got a bad habit of misplacing things. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Hang on just one second, guys. I'm a little slow today. Let's see what we got. Okay, it's a it's a 350 350 I got the AC fixed on it and uh, I'm just gonna recap real quick on each one of them so you kind of know what I'm talking about this truck has always been in East Tennessee around Oak Ridge Knoxville area it was bought new by a dentist and uh, he drove it for several years bought it brand new and uh, he uh, He sold it eventually, several years later, and another guy bought it. I can't think of his name just now. Kind of, kind of escapes me. But uh, he uh, he bought it because of the motor and transmission. It, uh, these these model years trucks are bad, are prone for rusting. So uh, I guess I guess he just gave up on it or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, this other guy bought it, and uh, he was going. It's got a 354 bolt main in it, and so uh, he was. He, he does dirt track racing, so he was going to pull the motor and transmission out. And this truck sat beside his garage for like 15 or 16 years. I'm just recapping. And uh, my friend GM1038 on YouTube, uh, he works with him, and. Uh, uh, Brian, that's who he is, GM1038. He bought the truck, talked him out of it, bought the truck, and asked my wife and I to go help him pick it up. So we rode with him, and by the time we got up there, I had <laughs> I talked him out of the truck. So I'm just glad the original motor and transmissions in it. It does great, runs great, shifts great. Like I said, got the AC fixed. I've got a ton of money in this one, a ton, and I suspect it'll be here with me for a long time i've had tim dixon at gas axe chop shop to do a lot of metal work and i'm not painting it i've clear coated it i put penetral on it it's been this way for years it doesn't get any worse i just kind of like that look uh, tim is also I always keep blue traps casing well you can't see now i got <laughs> i forgot i got new carpet tim's replaced the floorboards on it and uh 
We lowered it, sea notched up. I believe it's a, I think it's a 5.7 now. I could be wrong, but I think it's a 5.7 drop. Somebody's gonna ask me about these tire sizes or 245, 4020s, American Racing 8s. Two seventy-five, forty-five, twenties, tens, and that's what's on all these—the same, same thing. So, uh, if you would, uh, anyway, I got the AC fixed. Oh, I forgot where I left off at. Somebody always asks me about tire sizes, but uh, it's a good running old truck. I try to get everything used. This is used. It's got got this on eBay. Got a few. Uh, scratches on it here and there, and that's fine. Motor's real quiet. Runs and shifts good. But these trucks are prone for rusting. It's got some rust, but it's not getting any worse. I mean, yeah, we Tim's fixed a, a majority of it. You know, that was structural, whatever. New cab corners, new rockers on both sides. Just, and my wife and I, we put Penetrol on it, and I just love that look. It just made this all shiny, and the, all this stuff looks good. I really like this truck. It's my wife's, well, between it and Shannon there, it's my wife's uh, favorite truck. We put new tail lights in, put a sport bumper on it. Uh, I know I've told you all this before, but this tailgate came off of uh, this truck, this 78 C10 truck. Billy James, and I'll get to it in just a minute. But it originally came off this truck. But uh, anyway, I had to color match it, rattle can painting. That's what we do, rattle can painting, because I don't have tons of money to throw it. You know, getting big time paint jobs. And to be honest with you guys, I don't want a real nice paint job. I just like, I love this. Y'all might think I'm strange. I guess I am. But I mean, this this look right here to me is perfect. You know, like I always say, it's got a story to tell and it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, it's it's not perfect, but it's, it's, it's perfect for me. Tim's even done some metal work in the bed somewhere in here amongst all this junk. I'm a parts hoarder, guys. Oh, I'm proud of this new carpet. Okay. I kind of like this stuff too, don't you? I, I don't know. It's I know it's cheap, but I don't know. I just kind of like it. 75, that's what year this truck is. That's the year that I graduated in. Uh, I got to tell you, that was a long time ago. So, whew, long time ago. Okay, uh, let's let's do this one right here. Next, this this is a '78 '78 Chevy C10 truck. I got the emblems in the glove box. It's a it's a Cheyenne. I I still got a long way to go with this truck too, but it's come it's come a long way from death, from the grave death. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's took seven trucks to make this one, or I, I've used seven trucks: the dash and the carpet and the seat and the bed came from a wreck truck that I bought because this thing was junk. Then I bought doors and fenders and stuff from another truck in another county for me that was that was on a Facebook Marketplace. Let's see if this. The interior which was originally blue, but I went with red because that's what I had. I mean, you know, the, 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 the wreck truck I bought had red interior. These door panels are not correct for the truck, but they work. Had to change all, I mean, just little things, stuff you don't normally think about, been changed. I'm gonna let it run here for just a minute, It'd be good for it. Uh, had new exhaust put on it, you know, new wheels lowered it. Uh, Maybe could have went a little bit lower, I don't know. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, 
done my regular thing my wife and I did putting a sport bumper on it now all that dust is from sanding I'm not done with this truck I just get sidetracked real easy new tail lights got another tailgate man that thing sure is dusty I didn't realize how bad uh, it, it's a good running old truck now but the motor that was in it motor and transmit it didn't have a motor and transmission when I got it so I had an old four-wheel drive truck. We put the motor and transmission in, and uh, it wouldn't. It, it ran, but it didn't run very good. Had a ticking in it. I'm not sure what that was, and the transmission was real uh, slow to to go into gear. So I knew something was wrong. Hood came off of a junkyard truck. It just so happened, like I said, the Lord's good to me, and everything I found for this truck has been white. It's, I, I don't know why, but. You know, the, I don't know, to me, to me, the Lord kind of speaks to me sometimes, or, you know, or points things out to me. So I found a, I found a white hood I wasn't expecting, you know, white doors, white fender. And I, I was wanting to buy, I know I've told you this, the other door too, but uh, I just couldn't afford it at the time. So I bought these, these pieces, the fender, the door, and the other fender. And you can go back on my older videos and see what this thing used to look like. Man, I'm so proud. Proud of this motor and transmission now. I'm so proud to have it and it run. Thank you, Brian. Uh, put these things on. I just like little things like that. Uh, it doesn't have a radio. Somebody's cut that out. Uh, I, I hate they done that. I'd rather not have a radio and have the still have the little knobs the way it was born, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it's turned out to be a decent old truck. I, even Brian, Brian's the one. <laughs> he said, please, Jimmy, do not fix this truck. But I don't know. I just, I'm one of them kind of weirdos that I hate to see one sit. I truly do, so. Anyway, I, one of these days, if I if it if it doesn't go to a new home or something, you know, I'll keep piddling with it. Might get the air fixed. One of these days, who knows? Who really knows? I don't even know. Okay, we'll move on to this one. I know my videos get too long, guys, and I apologize. Uh, this is an '84 Chevy C10 truck, uh, left turn bill. Some of these trucks already had names before. I got them. This was left turn Bill. That was Billy James. But y'all, you know, sometimes if they don't have a name, I'll have a contest and ask y'all to help me name our trucks because it kind of gives them, I, I, like I said, I'm weird, but it kind of gives them life like they are something. I'll put this here just, I don't think my emergency work works on this truck, so. <laughs> This is the one I just recently got back. I'm hoping, hoping it'll sit here. Hoping it will. Should. And this truck was junk. For new to the channel, it was born a six-cylinder, three-speed on the column, and now it's got this 350 in it that my friend GM1038 on YouTube, his name is Brian, I'm going to refer to him as Brian, okay? Please check out his channel though and subscribe. Uh, Brian put a new cam and lifters in it, freshened it up, put new gaskets, oil pump, you know, just everything, just freshened it up, stuck it in here, and I got that motor from a really good friend of mine. And uh, I already had a Saginaw four speed. And uh, we stuck, stuck it in here. It was a three speed in the four. Somebody switched it. This, this, uh, this truck's kind of got a, I don't know, weird story in my opinion. It's a one owner truck. I'm the second owner actually. And uh, we put new carpet in. It did have a rubber mat. This, 
this truck's uh, always worked on a farm, and that's what all these places are here. It's been rust repaired by Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop. Hey, check him out. Gas Axe Chop Shop. And he's in 10 Mile, Tennessee. That's East Tennessee. And uh, Axe is spelled A-X-E. Tim Dixon. Talk about a good guy. He is. We've been friends and friends for years. Charlie and Ryan and uh, Tim and I and Corey and Waylon, we've all been friends for years. But I, I kind of like that little, kind of hits the lick there a little bit. Tim put new exhaust on it for me. But anyway, left turn Bill, the man, uh, I think he's put two or three six cylinder motors in this thing. He, he was a millionaire, I was told. I never met the man. He's, him and his wife both passed away. But, uh, I mean, this truck came with nothing. AM radio, heater, and wipers. That's about it. But this truck was stolen. Left turn Bill, his wife passed away. And his uh, left turn Bill got in bad health. And I reckon the truck set and it got stolen. This old truck. Can you believe it? This old truck. And I'm telling you, it looks great now compared to when I got it. This ain't the original seat. Uh, I got this from Brian. This thing was, if you think it looks bad now, <laughs> you should see. I'm always attracted to stories. So we changed the bumper, got new tail lights, just same old stuff. Uh, but it's a, it's not a complete turnaround, but anyway, they, getting back to the story, the, the police recovered the truck. I don't know how long it was stolen for, how long it was gone. Let me turn this off, baby. You can hear me a little bit better. Sorry about that. I'm not being too considerate, am I? And I might want to put it in gear just to make sure it doesn't roll. Now then. Anyway, uh, this, uh, it got recovered. And uh, when, when left turn bill, the man passed away. They auctioned off all of his stuff, the farm and everything else is the story I was told. And uh, that's that's why I keep that one up there. It was part of the auction. I'm just gonna keep it on the rear view mirror that this thing was auctioned off. And uh, you know, it's, I guess that's pretty much it. I know y'all's heard this story a thousand times, but I want to thank Tim Dixon for all the metal work he's done. Him and Waylon worked a long, <laughs> a long time on this truck. It's not that the truck was rusty. The cab, the floorboards, and everything are just great. But uh, left turn Bill got out in the fields in this thing, and there was cow manure that just ate up the metal. So uh, Tim fixed all that for me, and uh, I want to thank Tim and Waylon for working on it. Want to thank that? See how, how friends are GM Tim 38, uh, Brian and Tim and Waylon and Corey and everybody else. I mean, I mean, of course, I mean, I got to pay them to do that, but I mean, all they had to say is no, I don't feel like doing all this stuff, but we're, but we're just friends, so it is what it is, and I'm so blessed to have good friends. I, I know I say that a lot if you've kept up or watched my videos, I'm always bragging or you know about how blessed i am and what good friends that i have but this old truck i tell you what it's it's done a complete turnaround i i'm absolutely fell in love with this old truck and i've got big plans for it so we'll just see what happens and something to play with this time last year or no first of this year january or december last year this truck didn't look nothing like this it's been lowered and uh, I don't know how much uh, GM 1038, I'm sorry, Brian lowered it, uh, put all new brakes. This thing's got a bunch of brand new mechanical parts. It's got all new brakes, brake lines. Everything mechanical is practically new. Uh, I think it's got new radiator and everything else. So, of course, new new freshened up motor and a Saginaw 4 speed. It shifts great. Uh, Charlie, I want to thank you if you're watching the video. He got the linkage and stuff all lined up charlie's a master at that kind of stuff and carburetors too just like his son brian and i mean this this truck uh it, it, i mean you don't want to take it 
drag racer or nothing, but it's got some ump about it. So uh, I'm real proud of it. Sorry, I get started talking on something, don't I? I talk a lot. Here's my 78 GMC truck, Shannon. This truck was named before I got the, before I got the truck because the guy that used to own this truck was Shannon. Well, we'll start it and let it run for just a minute. And I'll talk about it for just a second. I know this video is getting long and I'm sorry. I'll give you the nutshell on this as quick as I can. Shannon, the guy that used to own this truck. Uh, let me start out by saying this truck was born a stepside truck. And Shannon got the truck and he didn't like the stepside. So he traded the stepside bed for this fleet side bed. And uh, Shannon actually liked a 70, a 79. He was turning this GMC into a 79 Chevy, even though it's a 78 GMC truck. So he put this steel hood on, uh, changed the grill. Uh, I put the bumper guards and stuff on. I've changed the bumper. I had a bumper that had some surface rust or something in it. My wife liked this one better, make a long story short. Got it at the junkyard. I'm just keeping that sticker on just because it's lasted this whole time. Uh, we've lowered it and I put the same size tires on, only these are gray spoke. Uh, 20 by 8s, 20 by 10s, American Racing. Because that's all I could get because of COVID. I was actually trying to get those. But I'm glad I got these because I think they look good on this truck. This truck was actually copper colored, born copper colored. And I, I can show you that. Actually born this color. But uh, when I got the truck, like I said, the bed didn't match or anything. And COVID was in play. And this is a factory bucket seat and console truck too. Uh, got the AC fixed on it. Uh, it's got tilt column. It's, there's, there's a lot I have to do still on the insides, but I've got to buy carpet and seat covers and stuff. So, I mean, it's, uh, guys, my channel's just, I have to do little bit, little bit. So if I brag on carpet or something, it's because it's a big deal to me. I mean, I'm not Richard Rawlings, I'm not, Dennis Collins or some of these other people are getting sponsored by anybody. I'm just the kind of my wife and I are kind of on our own. If we want something, we do without to get it. Check out these shoes. <laughs> I know I throw them in there a lot, but I just you want C10 parts or GMC parts or do you want new shoes? <laughs> I'll take the GMC and C10 parts. Anyway, uh, oh. I don't know if I showed you the motor. I might have. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. 350, 350. Still got all the jack stuff in it. All new brakes. Everything mechanical is done. New radiator. So, I got to hurry this up because there's a storm coming. My wife and I we, we rattle can the, the truck, rattle can paint, then we put Pentachol on it. Uh, already had a sport bumper. Shannon, the guy that used to own this truck, he uh, he was buying NOS stuff. He was smarter than a lot of other people. Back in the 90s, he was buying NOS stuff for this and uh, buying, you know, square body NOS stuff. And, uh, I wish I'd have done that back in the day, but I didn't have enough sense. But let me turn this off so you can hear me better. Anyway, he, uh, like I said, he's a lot smarter than I am, but a lot of this stuff is NOS, the bumper, the mirrors, stuff like that. It's, it's uh, NOS stuff. New old stock, if you didn't know. Uh, but yeah, I really like this truck. I, like I said, it, my wife, she has trouble be be between this one and the 75 C10 truck sky. And you know what? I guess that 75 is the oldest one I have. I hadn't really thought about it that way before, but I guess that's right. Uh, anyway, 
it's come a long way uh, put tips on it same old thing I generally do to all of them uh, but I, I I think this I drove it the furthest it's ever been drove as far as I've had it 25 or 30 miles and it done just fine other than a little too much antifreeze in the radiator which I'm going to put a, a overflow coolant jug on it and uh but I, I I have a lot of people say on this old truck they say well why don't you uh put the GMC grill and stuff back in it why don't you put the original style hood on it since you know rattle can painted it and all that well that was my intentions but I just got to where I like this right here I mean it's a little bit different and this is a metal hood and uh I don't know I just got to work I guess every day that I was playing with it I you know when I'm working on it I, I call them playing uh when I was playing with it it just uh started growing on me so it, it's one of them Either you like it or either you don't. Either you're in the patina style or either you're not. I mean, you know, there's some people that, you know, say stuff on the channel, you know, why don't you do this or do that, you know, or why don't you get a nice paint job? Well, I don't want a nice paint job. I don't want to. It's just, I just like this look. All this stuff, you know, I've made myself, you know, just patina, just random random stuff where it looks like it's been on the looks like it's been on the truck since 1978 all this stuff here you know i i made we rattle canned it my wife and i did two-toned it it was just solid color and the bed was a different color as I, if i recall and uh i told my wife i said we need to make it one you know do something kind of give it a little bit of pop so we two-toned it i done the top done down here and you know painted the rest of the truck and uh, while well, I painted the whole truck this color, I forgot what shade it is, but satin leather, I don't know. And then, you know, I, I painted this, and I can't remember what color it is, but if you go back on my older videos, you'll see. Done all the patina stuff myself, just to try to make it look like, you know, it's old. And, you know, if, if you was getting a two-tone truck anyway, new, it'd all be one shade, and then they'd add this later. So I tried to uh, replicate that the best that I can. I'm not an expert on nothing, nothing, but, you know, I, I just, I just, this is what I call having fun, and, uh, anyway, let me know what you think about this old GMC truck, see how I get started talking, I can't shut up, hang on, I gotta get a key for Sam, okay, guys, I found the key for this first year of OBS 88, Sam, this was named before I got the truck this truck was headed for scrap literally is on the trailer and Brian bought it before it went to scrap so uh, let's give it a let's start it and see what happens I'll have to I, I still have I still have work to do this truck. I got to finish the exhaust and stuff on it. I haven't got that far. I, I get sidetracked easy. It's got a 350 in it with a brand new $700 that Brian built. Brian put Belltech lowering, lowering suspension on it, new wheels and tires. And I was kind of interested in this truck because of. Uh, I mean, it's first year of OBS, and I never had an OBS truck before. I'm going to shut this hood, okay? Don't let it hurt your ears. Okay. Uh, most of this stuff is junkyard stuff. The, the grill. I uh, think, think the bumpers. The, the insides. If you're not familiar with it, the insides it used to be red. They're now blue from a junkyard truck. Door panels, everything. Got the AC fixed on it. Uh, new tail lights, new, new trim. Uh, truck runs and drives great, and uh, I'm real proud to, real proud to get into the OBS too. I think, I think that's one a person's gonna might be wise to start buying if he gets a good deal on one. And uh, I mean it. I really like the old truck. Brian is. 
I, I, I haven't found anything really that Brian can't do. I'll turn this off just so you can hear me better. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a good running old truck, and uh, I'm real I'm real proud to have it. And I, you know, like I said, I just kind of do these videos just because you don't know if something's gonna be here this time next year or not. I've seemed like every year, excuse me, it seems like every year when I do a video, by the time I go back around the next year, the upcoming year one or two of them's gone so if i don't if i don't make a video sometimes i forget what's here and what's not and i know this is a long video I, if you're still watching this stuff i appreciate it uh just for just because it's sitting here we'll look at this 07 chevy silverado truck that goes by the name of coffee i really like this truck too this is a good truck Let me see if I can start it. Well, I gotta find the keyhole first, don't I? There we go. We're about to, about to get to the end of the video. If you can hang in there with me. It's got a 4.8 in it. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not. There we go. I think so, hang on. It's got a 4.8 in it. I don't know of anything wrong with the truck. Runs great other than I have a I have a tire sensor light on. And I knew that when I bought new tires. Uh, the guy said where I got my tires, he said uh said your tire sensor light, whichever, whichever wheel it is, I don't know. Said, uh, I said, well, how much will it cost to fix? I got, I put brand new tires on it, and uh, he said seventy bucks. And I said, you know what? Yeah, I'll just, I'll look at that light for seventy bucks, cause I'm, I mean, I don't know. I'm not rich, and seventy dollars is a lot of money to me. Uh, we named this truck Coffee, cause my friend that used to own this truck used to smoke, and you could smell cigarette smoke. But I have a friend that details cars for a living, and he told me a trick. He said, uh, Jimmy, if you get some uh, scented coffee, you know, uh, we use cinnamon and put in here in little trays. It will absorb the cigarette smoke, and after a while, it did. So, uh, it, it did absorb all the cigarette smoke, and you can't smell cigarette smoke in it now. This truck has a hundred and 96,000 miles on it. Runs like a champ. And uh, I, this is another sign you're getting old, isn't it? See, I put towels on everything. Just not because it's ripped, not because of nothing. I mean, these seats are, these seats are in good shape. And uh, so is the carpet, everything. I mean, it's got 196,000 miles on it. Needs to be detailed, but I just hadn't got around to it. I've put new exhaust on it. Uh, I've done a lot of things to this truck. It's a good truck. I really, I really do like it, and uh, maybe you will too. I don't know. I have people that's believe it or not. I have people that uh, when I, whenever I do drive this truck, you know, some people will say, "Well, hey, you want to sell it?" You know, single cabs are kind of hard to find. No, I, I really don't want to sell it. I mean, one of these days I probably will, but not. Not at the moment, so it's pretty good old truck. Like I said, it. I'm really partial to it, and I didn't. These trucks are. I think they're called. I know that's OBS. I think this is NOBS. Now I could be wrong. Somebody might correct me. Let me know. So, but anyway, it's good running old truck it's got a been lowered and has these i think these are tahoe wheels i think brian done all that that's who i got bought the truck from we always do a little trading around here or there and 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It seems like I don't know. I always whatever Brian has, I like, and sometimes whatever I have, Brian likes. So we just kind of trade trade around us to get something different like he said yesterday he said sometimes i'm ready for ready for something different so this is my little s10 ranger i shouldn't include this in the video but it's got corvette rally wheels on it it's got a i think it's got 130,000 miles on it excuse a racket but i've had this truck probably probably 18 years i guess i know it's a i know it's ford I know it's a Ranger, but with the Corvette Rally wheels, I always call it S10 Ranger. I had dual exhaust put on it. They're, they're not true dual exhaust, but when it stopped and turned off like this, <laughs> you might think there's a V8 or something in it, but there's not. It's a four-cylinder, five-speed, and uh, you know it runs good, stops good, AC works, and it's paid for. That's the thing nowadays, is it paid for in my book? I don't care nothing about, you know, new cars or nothing. Personally, I mean, if you have one, that's great. I'm proud for you. But I just, I never have had a new car or new truck in my life. So, anyway, I, I don't have the keys for it. I know y'all don't want to hear it anyway. But I always call it S10 Ranger. Sorry for the racket, guys. We had some trees that blew down from storms and got this guy uh, that's picking them up. So, I'll end the video here because I talk too much and I'm sorry this video is so long. But which which truck which truck do you like the best? I'll I'll ask that question before before I end the video. And, and I mean it makes no difference to me which one you pick. You like the 75 C10 truck sky? Or do you like the 78? C10 truck, Billy James. Billy James, I don't know if I mentioned this, I don't think I did, but Billy James is an actual person and the truck was already named that. Tim Dixon named it because Tim Dixon and Brian, they both know the guy. He was a, he's friends with Dale Earnhardt Jr. and stuff and uh, he, uh, you know, he's a real good driver, NASCAR driver, real good driver. And, uh, well, I guess excellent because, uh, Billy James would kind of, the story I was told, you know, he'd kind of get into trouble there a little bit. And, uh, you know, he'd outrun the law and stuff in this thing. And uh, not because the truck was that fast, just because he was a good driver. And there wasn't nothing, nothing getting his way if the, if the law was after him. Brian has chased him before. If you'll remember, I told you he's a, he, he used to be a full-time cop. Now he's a, part-time cop he has another full-time job but brian said whenever he seen him and got after him he said you better buckle up and get ready because he's going to go on for a ride and billy james would he'd jump ditches run through cornfields uh, tobacco just anything i mean there wasn't nothing stopping him and that's why when i got the truck it looked it looked horrible there was not a straight panel on this old truck anyway i'm sorry i got off on that Let's finish this video up because it's getting too long and I'm... Okay, you, you like this one better? The 78 C10 truck Billy James. The 84 Chevy truck left turn Bill. Or the 78 GMC truck Shannon. Or the 88 OBS truck Sam. Or, I don't picture anybody picking this one, but I'll mention it. The 07... Chevy truck, uh, Silverado truck there, uh, coffee. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention S10 Ranger, even though that's a good little old truck. Uh, if you, if you could, let's, let's just play a game. I always like to play games. I hope that y'all do too. But if you had to pick one to take home with you, which one, which one would you pick? Or the 88 Sam or the Silverado if you had to, after you pick one that you would keep that you would like to keep if you could just pick just one let's play this game too if you had to sell one don't include the Ranger 
I know I'm going to get comments about that. I'm not talking about the S10 Ranger. If you had to sell one, which one would you sell? And I'm sorry for the racket, guys. I can't do nothing about it. Would you sell Shannon, Billy James, Sky, Left Turn Bill, Sam, or Coffee? Which one would you sell if you had to sell one? It's just a little game. There's no prizes. There ain't nothing. I'm just, I'm just playing around. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. I know this is extremely long, and I apologize. I hope your ears aren't bleeding because I talk so much. But like I said, I do this kind of like once a year. You never know what's going to happen. And I'm very, very blessed by God. Jesus Christ is my Savior, and I hope He is yours too. I hope you recognize that. And bring him into your life it's it sure has changed me a bunch oh i'm a complete turnaround lord's in charge and uh i appreciate y'all watching like i said you're watching primer is best on youtube please like and subscribe it sure would help my channel a lot and uh i'm on instagram primer is best facebook primer is best and i have a second youtube channel man on a budget have i mentioned this already man on a budget and i'm on uh instagram man on a budget one if i've mentioned this again i'm sorry but uh anyway ah peace and quiet and all the down trees or limbs are gone thank god for that y'all have a blessed day and uh, i appreciate y'all watching this very long video and i hope the lord has come into your life and and uh hope everything's going well for you god bless y'all thanks for watching I'll catch y'all in the next video and stay safe. Hope you'll subscribe so I can talk to y'all again. <laughs> if your ears ain't bleeding now, they will be next time. God bless y'all. See you later.